right, guys, I'm about to go in this secret private riding session. Can't do that here. See you later. Love you guys. This was supposed to be like our biggest year, and I was super excited about it. And two weeks in, my dreams were crushed. We were at the Houston Rodeo. We'd already driven all the way out there. And my tour manager came back into my room and woke me up and told me that the show was canceled, and I thought he was pranking me. I was like, no, it hasn't. We're here. Um, but yeah, I ended up going out, eating catering, and literally just drove to Texas for nothing. Yeah, I might have to worship you. Honestly, it's been a, a huge blessing for me because I just had a baby, so I've got to you know watch her grow up, hang out with her, hang out with my wife, um, do a lot of things to the house that we wouldn't have been able to do um, if we were on the road. So it's it's been a blessing in disguise. Wow, look at your new setup! Yes, cool. The man cave. Tell tell do a quick cribs for your man cave. This is my man cave and stuff. This is my gaming stuff. My gaming PC. Very big nerd. It's over here. My little coffee bar and snack bar. And stuff. All of our favorite candies. And then if we have guests day or kids working up here, playing video games all night, they can get coffee, hot chocolate. They can get their sugar high over here. What, what else have we done? I mean, we've done a lot of just media. yeah, like media that I would have shoot music videos that I get to host and perform on the CMT Awards should be a blast and I can't wait. Doing writing sessions over Zoom. We've been working with Restless Road, another group that we just signed. I'm super excited about it. If you haven't heard them, go check it out. Our quarantine bubble has kind of gotten a little bit bigger. Uh, everybody's getting tested a lot from how many shows that we're doing, so we're all staying safe, of course. Uh, but it's it's been nice to be able to see everybody and hang out again. We got to do a drive-in recently that I just went and watched in Franklin. It was a virtual, so I'd done it already. And they put them up on the big screen, which I thought was pretty cool because it was like my first time getting to watch myself from an audience point of view. What's up, everybody? I'm at the Kane Brown drive through experience. What's up, guys? <laughs> Me and John's become really good friends. We're you know, practically neighbors, so either I'm at his house or he's at my house. Both of our girls are best friends now, so we can't escape each other. We're kind of on a you know a regular routine with the family. You know, Kingsley wakes up, we hang out with her. Can you say it's 2.36 and I'm just wide awake? And I just won't sleep. <laughs> it's weird having a baby now, especially during quarantine. It's the same thing every day. I could be in the worst mood ever. If I'm feeling down, I'll just go to her, but I just want my baby and hug her. And if she just cracks one smile at me or giggles at me, she just makes my days better. <laughs> Kingsley's already been in uh, two music videos. Uh, over this quarantine. She's a little superstar. She's got her own rider, her own stylist, everything. She's a diva. And she had a little Doc Martens on with a little dress. But it's been amazing. She's in my Worship You video, and she was also in my Worldwide Beautiful Music video. We rode my tour bus up to Wyoming. It took us 20 or 27 hours. And playback. And feel free to move around a little bit more now. Got my coffee. <laughs> I had to shoot the worship music video. Kate's been down there since what time? Seven. Seven. Everybody knows I wouldn't have woke up. Oh, honey, please don't cry. She's teething. It's the worst thing ever. It was beautiful. It was like, uh, I don't know if you've ever seen the movie. What's that Disney movie? The cats and the dogs. And they talk. No. There's a lot of Disney movies like that. It's not Lady in the Tramp. It's like a uh, Homer's Bound. Does it? Yeah. Homer Bound. For some reason, it really, re it really reminded me of Homer Bound whenever they got away. It might have been the second Homer Bound. But there's this river that we saw, but it just reminded me of them walking on it. It's beautiful. And it's just me walking through all this, you know, beautiful acreage, uh, rivers and creeks and 
you know, open field and just singing to them, like, you know, just tell them, you know, they're my everything. And at the very end, you know, there's a beautiful drawn shot that's gonna catch us in a field with the mountains behind us. You know, we're all huddled up together. That was like our first, you know, shot together as a family, and I don't think it could have been to a better song. Mark loves Kingsley. He's like the, the big, well, I'd say, I was gonna say uncle, but he's like a grandpa. Um, <laughs> he loves joking around with her and you know, loves holding her. She loves him. It was awesome just to have them in the video and you know be a part of the songs. You know, it's for both of them. Um, so I'm just glad they both got to be in it. Thank you guys. Thank you, I'm about to go take a COVID test. That's what I got to look forward to right now. And then going to get my tattoo. I've probably been you know, tested 15 times already. I got like four more tests coming up this week. So uh, we're staying pretty safe. My tattoo artist is Bubba. He's been breaking into the country scene. He does me, uh, you know, Jason Aldean. You just did Tyler Hubbard. This will be the hardest to cover up I've ever done, but the most, like, the best one I've ever done. You know what I mean? Great. <laughs> so just sit, with, you sit through it and I'll f do it, so. Yeah, I'll listen to the hardest or the great part? The great part. If you were, like, just a normal dude, I'd be like, I f I'll try it. But I can't mess this up because it's gonna be, oh, and your name's going to be on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what Bubba did. I have this awful tattoo. It's a long story. It's been eight years. I never take my shirt off around anybody. I had to go work out the last month before this and get a Brock Lesnar chest. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Who's Brock Lesnar? A wrestler? Yeah, right. uh. I've been working out, you know what I mean? I want to take my shirt off. Instead of hiding everything, the only thing that we could decide to cover it up with, um, which is a, a hawk. I got, I got a little bit of Cherokee in me, and I've already got a wolf, and I have a gorilla that's kind of got like this Indian headdress on, so it's like, why not a hawk? I, kinda, I feel like I need a bear now, so. Good thinking. It's better than bad. <laughs> <laughs> For me, the chest is the most painful tattoo that I could possibly get. <laughs> Not mean it. I don't like it. <laughs> Usually I can, you know, watch TV or take a shot and you know, get the pain away. This one I was literally flexing for five hours and it's just hurting. I was almost to the point where I just wanted to just let a tear go. That's how bad it hurt. Stuck it out for a little bit last night. It's still not finished. It's literally going to be my whole chest and the feathers come down onto my stomach. I think I'll be able to work out tomorrow though. Um, I know. You got that to do. Don't work out for how many weeks? Two weeks? You got me up. I'm working out. Yeah, I work out every day. Like, I have not missed one day. Miss Ray Lynn made me hit the gym a little harder. She called me fat one day at a pool party, and uh, I was like, oh, okay, all right. Like, let's see if I'm fat in a couple months. So I had to wait four months for my dumbbells to come in. And so now I've quit drinking beer, only drink water. My goal is to be the most shredded guy and the country music scene. Uh, oh, oh, my God. How you feel? Uh, <laughs> that was close. <laughs> yeah, today I'm going to check out uh, our new family collection that we have. We're starting this family collection. I'm working with my boy Donnie. He makes these hats, the miracle hats. That I'm just going to go ahead and claim I was the first one that wore it. And then uh, afterwards, you see people like Johnny Manziel and Justin Bieber, uh, and a couple other basketball players are, you know, wearing his stuff. Have you ever worn one of his hoodies? Yeah, it's I, so I, happy. Try it on. Yeah. All right, I want to try it on after you. See what happens. Oh my gosh, That's isn't it saying. heavy? If you, got, if you got that from a merch store over our merch that we have now, Oh, it's night and day, different. Yeah, it's two so completely just... different products. Right now, you know, we're in a time when you're not out on the road. So you can you can start selling product to fans that isn't just that traditional tour merch with the dates on the back. You right, know, right. it's almost like a fashion line yeah. Yeah. in a way that feels different. Would you guys be interested in that? Maybe for like the first time, did they get like an exclusive Polaroid? Or do you I not think like we, that? I think it's a cute idea. 
I'm huge on family. Like, I love my family. If you work with me, you know if you're a part of my family. Like, I'm going to take care of you. So we just thought it would be cool just to let my fans know because I tell them all the time they're family. Hi. Hey guys. We got presented with a couple of plaques. Lose It was two times platinum. Good As You was two times platinum. What Is was six times platinum. Heaven was six times platinum. One Thing Right was two times platinum. And then we got two plaques for What Is having a billion streams and Heaven having a billion streams. I want to be like that one gold. You know, you hang a plaque up and it'll be, you know, platinum or whatever, and then you'll get the next one. It's like, oh, two times platinum. You got to take the platinum one down and put that one back up. <laughs> it does, it sucks. But uh, they're over here making fun of me, like boo hoo. It felt awesome, especially, you know, not having really any concerts or anything to hype you up. So it feels good to, you know, give you something to look forward to and kind of pump you up more and get you ready to do more things. Just got here to the CMT Music Awards. I'm co hosting. I'm nominated and I'm performing, so it should be a blast. I'm just glad I'm co-hosting and not hosting, because <laughs> that would be like terrible for me. I feel like I would mess it up. A little nervous, but I learned uh, what I've learned about publicists and I always try to smile. And I'm gonna read as best as I can. I'm performing Worship You for the first time. I'm super pumped and I can't wait for you guys to see it. I'm trying to get out here and just do something, you know? I'm tired of sitting at home. It felt great to actually go to a site. Um, it was in downtown Nashville. Uh, it was also super cold but it was amazing. The setup was beautiful. Lights everywhere, helicopters, there's drones. Felt like I was most wanted, and it was amazing. 2020 hasn't been what we thought it was gonna be, uh, but I have you know, got to hang out with my family, which is a blessing, my daughter that's about to be one. We've done a lot of stuff with media, a lot of award shows. Uh, I've got to release new music. Now we're just ready to get back on the road and get back out there.